Howdy, my name is Viridiana Hernandez and the species I am defending is the Apicerana japonica, also known as the Japanese honeybee. My name is Jared Ramos. My insect is the Asian giant hornet, also known as the Ves mandarinia by its scientific name. The topic of this debate is which of these two species would win in a fight. Okay. Japanese honeybees fall into the order Hymenoptera and are members of the same genus as the European honeybee. They are also members of the Asian honeybee species, Apicerana, and make up the subspecies of Asian honeybees known as Apicerana japonica. It has been proven that Japanese honeybees originated in Korea but are now native to Japan. Japanese honeybees complete their development through complete metamorphosis, but their appearance does vary depending on the stage of their development as well as the looks of the different members of the three cased of the colony. These three cases consist of queens, drones, and workers. Queens are the reproductive females of both colonies. They are quite larger than the workers, have bigger abdomens that contain their fully developed reproductive organs, and are usually a bit darker in color too. The drones have very large eyes and have no stingers. Their abdomens are thick and blunt on the ends. Finally, the workers have a very distinctive structure referred to as the pollen basket, which is located on their third set of legs that helps in collecting and transporting pollen. Japanese honeybees are considered to be very good pollinators. Several factors apply to this. One factor is their smaller foraging range compared to other honeybee species. This smaller foraging area allows each worker to spend more time on the same plants so that they have greater opportunity to pollinate the plants they visit. Second, Japanese honeybees are resistant to cold temperatures. European honeybees are unable to move about in temperatures below 11 degrees, but Japanese honeybees will harvest pollen in lower temperatures if necessary. Lastly, all Japanese honeybees are very small but agile. <clears throat> they, diligently, they diligently go about collecting the nectar, po pollen, and juice of various plants, giving their, their honey a very profound flavor. Japanese honeybees also exhibit an amazing behavior called bee balling. If their hive is ever to be invaded by a predator such as the Japanese giant hornet, Several hundreds of Japanese honeybees will form a ball around the hornet and vibrate their flight muscles to produce heat. While this continues, temperatures surrounding the hornet are raised anywhere up to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is high enough to harm if not kill the hornet. The Asian giant hornet is a type of hornet in the order Hymenoptera. It is also among the Vespa Tropica group, defined by a single notch located on the apical margin of the seventh sternum of the male. The Asian giant hornet is a eusocial insect living within a colony comprised of queen and worker role orders. The Asian giant hornet is native to temperate and tropical eastern Asia, where they prefer to live in low mountain and forest regions. The Asian giant hornet is notorious for its long stinger. Like many bees and wasps, the hornet injects a venom containing a cytolytic peptide that can cause tissue damage and even renal failure. This venom can be lethal, even to people who aren't allergic. Each year in Japan, the death toll caused by the Asian giant hornet is anywhere between 30 and 40. Something very interesting is that the Asian giant hornet is the only species of social wasp known to apply a scent to direct its colony to a food source. This aids the hornets when they are hunting. A group of scouts or a single hornet will locate a food source and lead the others to, for example, a beehive, where they will proceed to deplete the colony in a matter of hours. The Asian giant hornet preys on bees, other hornets, and mantises. A single hornet can kill as many as 40 bees per minute due to its large mandible, which allow it to quickly strike and decapitate a bee. Okay, so, I have a question for you. In attacking bee colonies, the bees often far outnumber the attacking hornets. What enables the hornet to have such a great advantage, and are the bees able to eliminate any hornets during these attacks? Yeah, so like I said before, the Asian giant hornet's greatest advantage is its very large mandible, which allows it to quickly strike and decapitate a bee. The honeybee stings are also highly ineffective because the hornet is five times the size of the bee and heavily armored. The hornet can also fly up to 60 miles in a single day at speeds as fast as 25 miles per hour. All of this is to show that the hornet does have a greater advantage in most situations, but that's not to say that they never lose numbers in these attack, attacks. So my question for you, you said that the honeybees vibrate their flight muscles to produce heat. Does this heat ever get too hot to where they end up dying as well? Okay. 
No, the bees create this heat via muscular extension, which is not harmful at all to them. And also the heat that is being produced is being sent inward to the center of the ball. This, ca this causes the interior temperature of the ball to rise to extreme temperatures. Additionally, the bees activity also increases carbon dioxide concentration inside the ball. The hornet's ability to withstand heat decreases as carbon dioxide concentration increases ultimately causing the increased temperature to become lesser. Okay, my second question for you is, the Japanese honeybee is known to have developed a fairly effective strategy for defending their hives and even killing hornets. Have the hornets adapted to this strategy? Yeah, so like you mentioned earlier, the bees will set traps of the hornets when they sense the chemical signals of the hornet scouts. Upon entering, the bees will engulf the hornet and heat it to the point of death. While this is an effective strategy in killing the hornets, the bees sometimes also suffer losses. While research is still being conducted, it has been found that strategies have been developed to avoid unprofitable conflict and losses. When the scouting hornets are detected, the bees will sometimes release a warning signal. The hornets may view this warning as a potential for loss and possibly be deterred from attacking. So my last question for you is why is it that Japanese honeybees Japanese honeybees form this heat bomb and not other honeybees that are also affected by the hornet. Okay. Well, there actually has been a lot of research done for this question that you're asking me, especially at the University of Toko to Tokyo. Um, the students at the University of Tokyo um, have been examining what is happening in the brain in the bees' brains while forming this hot ball. They extracted some insects from a hot defensive bee ball and analyzed their brains. What they found was that there was a marker gene present, which was not found in any other honeybees. The team measured increased activity in the structure of the brain responsible for learning and memory in insects, which is also known as mushroom bodies. Interestingly, the same area was activated when the bees were exposed to 46 degrees Celsius heat in the lab, suggesting that the activity is triggered by temperature when the bees form a ball. Okay. Well, I believe that Japanese honeybees would win a fight against the Asian giant hornet because of their incredible activity to work together to produce heat and kill those who threaten their surroundings. I also believe that they would win in a fight because of their because they are so small, they would be hard to spot and easier to get away if an Asian giant hornet was nearby. I think that the Asian giant hornet would win in a fight against the Japanese honeybee because its ability to move at speeds of about 25 miles per hour and its average body size of 1.8 inches and with its wingspan of 3 inches, it is, has a natural advantage. Its strength in large mandibles aid it in decimating bee colonies and its hard exterior acts as a natural armor protecting it from bee stings. Their ability to navigate using both visual and chemical cues also give them an advantage in hunting by allowing them to communicate through multiple mediums and mobilizing quickly and effectively. Thank you.